seen my share of broken halos, folded wings. They've all gone wherever they go. Broken halos that used to shine. Angels come down from the heavens just to help us. They come to teach us, then they leave us, and they find some other souls to save. Seen my share of broken halos, folded wings. That used to fly. They've all gone wherever they go. Broken halos that used to shine. Broken halos that used to shine. Don't go looking for the reasons. Don't go asking Jesus why. We're not meant to know the answers. They belong to the by and by. They belong to the by and by. See my shade. Broken halos, folded wings that used to fly. They've all gone wherever they go. Broken halos that used to shine. 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 Face 
Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And it's a little warm from conditioning is out of commission, but uh, I think that uh, we'll have a cool breeze, hopefully, coming through the sanctuary today. But I want to thank all of the musicians and worship leaders today for uh, leading worship. And it is an honor and a blessing, a huge blessing for me to be worshiping with you today on my last Sunday here. So thank you. Thank you very much. Let's uh, sing a song. Oh, Melanie has an announcement. I just wanted to, re sorry, exercise, aerobics. I just wanted to remind you of a few things that um, uh, if you haven't filled out uh, in the back, Denise, there are still sheets, right? <clears throat> There's a sheet yep, um, that says, my favorite memory of Pastor Paul, you can fill that out. Um, and, and if your child can't write, they can make a picture. Um, oh. And then um, after we're meeting outside in the um, church lawn, we'll have cookies and coffee and so forth. There's going to be a couple of informal presentations. And also, if you have something you would like to say in a more informal setting, just share a, about a memory about Pastor Paul or something you want to say, um, you're, you can have an opportunity to do that. Um, okay, and then just um, to be clear um, on the impact that Pastor Paul has had on you, um, if you have been baptized by Pastor Paul or if you're too little, hold up the little one, if you've been baptized, and each time I say something, stand or remain standing, okay? So if you've been baptized by Pastor Paul, stand up. Just keep remain. Um, you can set it on the pew if it's getting too heavy. Um, if you've been confirmed by Pastor Paul, stand up. Okay. If uh, Pastor Paul married you, stand up. 
if you, if, what's so funny? Oh, oh, <laughs> Christy, you missed that. His wife, Christy, stood up. Um, uh, okay, if you have had a child baptized by Pastor Paul, stand up. If you um, have um, had him lead a memorial service for a loved one for you, he's done a funeral for a family member, stand up. If, um, <clears throat> if you have ever been counseled by Pastor Paul or been helped in some way and, and spoken with him about something that concerns if uh, you have an, attended an adult, oh, and if, if I'm saying something that you, and you're already standing, you can raise your hand. Um, if you've attended adult forums, stand up. If you've traveled, a, wave your hand. If you've been in a skit or a play with Pastor Paul. We've got, mm, not everybody's standing. What am I missing? Uh, ever served on a committee? Served on church council? Okay, yes. Bible study. The, have you been? Yeah, you got one? Oh, you're raising your hand. Gotcha. Okay. Well, um, now everybody, you can sit down. So, this, this is... Uh, a time of really a lot of mixed emotions, and it's sad. We don't want to let him go. Um, but this isn't just a human thing. God is on the move. The Holy Spirit is working. He's the Holy Spirit's moving in our midst. He's guided Pastor Paul. He's going to guide us as a congregation. We have spiritual work to do. We all do. And so, anyway, let's just. And, uh, and you'll see more of me later. Thank you for that. That was really nice. Now, if you feel comfortable, let's stand again and sing our gathering song. Come and be our king. 
Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, whose teaching is life, whose presence is sure, and whose love is endless. Amen. Let's take a moment of silence as we bring our sins to the Lord. God, our comforter, like lost sheep, we have an abundance and see scarcity. We turn our faces away from injustice and oppression. We exploit the earth with our apathy and greed. Free us from our sin, gracious God. Listen when we call out to you for help. Lead us by your love to love our neighbors as ourselves. Amen. My friends, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But by the gift of grace in Christ Jesus, God makes us righteous. Sins. Amen. You may be seated.
I'd like to invite all of the Sunday School teachers, confirmation leaders, WAS leaders, and substitute teachers to come forward to be installed. Thank you, everyone. Jesus has commanded us to make disciples of all nations. When we teach and baptize, we are fulfilling the great commission that was given to us by our Lord. We have, been, we have each been called into God's service. Teachers and leaders, do you accept the responsibility to use your talents and gifts to teach God's children encouraging them in their faith journey. If so, say we do. we do. Will you continually remember this commitment in your prayers so that you may allow the Holy Spirit to lead you concerning the needs of your students? If so, say we will by the help of God. We will by the help of God. Congregation, these volunteers have accepted a calling from the Lord to spread the good news of God's salvation through teaching and building relationships. Will you remember them in your prayers, and will you lend your support and encouragement to them in all times? If so, say, we will with the help of God. Let us pray. Most gracious God, you have blessed your church with many gifted and talented people. We thank you now for these Sunday school, WAS, and substitute teachers and confirmation small group leaders who have dedicated themselves in service to you. May their words be your words. May their hands be your hands. May their hearts be your heart. May their love be your love. Give them insight, patience, and the creative spark of your spirit so that your church will be equipped to make disciples of all nations. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now the following individuals, after prayerful consideration, have transferred their membership to Trinity Lutheran Church. They come from different places and backgrounds and will now join this family of believers who strive to be God's children, living in unity with Christ and the Holy Spirit. Today they make public affirmation of their baptism. And so as your names are read, please come forward and stand down here and bring your red hymnal, please. Cody Wentworth and Miranda Roberts and their two children, Caitlin Bjornsson and Lane, along with Wyatt Holst. Wyatt, you can come up too. Come up to the front and grab a red hymn. Oh, you got one, good. And eventually, with the congregation too, we'll be confessing the creed together with the words on page 229. Page 229 in the front of your hymnal. We'll do that in just a minute. Dear friends, you into our family called Trinity Lutheran Church. Together we worship the Lord, we give of our time, talents, and treasures for the sake of Christ in the world. Together we support one another and hear the gospel of Christ. And so it's a joyous occasion to have you be joining this congregation. In holy baptism, our Lord Jesus Christ received you and made you members of his church. And in the community of God's people, you have learned uh, what is the word of God and his loving purpose for you. And so now, along with the rest of the congregation, 
I ask you to confess your faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. Page 94, and we'll start about halfway down there. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? Born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And now, do you intend to continue in the promise God made with you in baptism, to live among God's faithful people, to hear his word and share in his supper, to proclaim the good news of God in Christ through word and deed, and to serve all people following the example of Jesus, and to strive for justice and peace in all the earth? If so, together respond, I do and I ask God to help and guide me. I do... Thank you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for these new members. By your life-giving power, bind us all to one another and strengthen us for service. Support us all of our days as your children. This we pray in your name. Amen. So welcome you guys as new members. Before you go, just a little welcome bag here. Make sure I get the right ones. There we go. That's for you, and that's for you, but the goodies have to wait until after church. Boo! (laughs) Let's give them an applause. Welcome, you guys. Welcome. Find my bulletin. It's a fun day. Lots of things happening. The Lord be with you. And let us pray together. O God, our teacher and guide, you draw us to yourself and you welcome us as beloved children. Help us to lay aside all envy and selfish ambition that we may walk in your ways of wisdom and understanding as servants of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Thank you, Hosanna. Good morning. We are going to be singing Friends, and we'd like for you to join us during the chorus. And the chorus is in your bulletin. It's written in your bulletin. And I will, I'll just, or one of us, will raise our hands when it's time to sing. So, okay.
The first reading is from Proverbs, chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not rely on your own insight. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will make your paths, make straight your paths. The second reading comes from Isaiah, chapter 43. But now thus says the Lord, he who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel. Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Because you are precious in my sight and honored, and I love you. The third reading comes from Hebrews chapter 12, verses 1 through 2. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and the sin that clings so closely, and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, Looking to Jesus, the pioneer and the perfecter of our faith, who for the sake of the joy was not set before him, endured the cross, disregarding its shame, and has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of God. The word of the Lord. Thank you, hostile daughters. I'd like to invite the kids up for the children's lesson. Come on up and find a spot up here somewhere. Right. As you come up, I would 
like you to take a little shell. Take a little shell. Here's a little shell for you. Little shell for you, for you, for you. Got little shells for everybody. One for you, one for you, one for you. All right. There you go. There you go. Want to make sure everybody gets a little shell. Now, <laughs> if you're little, don't put this in your mouth. Oh, okay. Shell for you. Dad, when you get back to the pew, here, you can sit right down on the carpet here. Here's a shell for you. You want to hold that? A shell for you. A shell for you. Who still needs a shell? Okay. Here's some. You can pass these back there. Who else needs a shell over here? Okay. Here's a shell for you. Okay, I want you to look at these little shells. <laughs> I might even have the little, littlest one of them all. That is one teeny of different shapes and sizes of shells, don't you? Can you imagine what lived in this shell? Do you think it was pretty big or pretty little? Yeah, if the shells are so little, then the animal that lived inside was really, really, really teeny. Yes? Oh, like a little crab? Yeah. Yeah. Yes? These are, you know, I have a question for you. Do you think God knew the little animal that lived in this shell? He did. Now, the whole world is a big, big, giant place. But God even sees the littlest of creations. He knew the little animal that lived in here. Yeah. God knows all things. God is so great and mighty, he sees the whole world, but he knows the little things too. Now, I want you to think about yourselves. Compared to the, all of us in here, are you little or are you big? <laughs> you guys are littler than the adults out here, right? Kids are little, but you'll be growing big. Now, here's what I want to tell you. Do you know how much Jesus loves you? Jesus loves you guys so much. He even said one time in the Bible, he said, let your faith be that of a child's. Welcome the little child, because Jesus loves, Jesus pays attention to all the little things in the world, especially you, because you guys are his children, and Jesus loves you guys so very much. All right, kids, thanks for coming back. You can keep the shell. Oh, wait, wait, don't go yet. I guess there's a song. There's a song to sing. Thank you, Deb, for leading the song. Yes. Some of you remember this, right? Right. And Pastor Paul, you'll have to come up and help us. All right. And just, I'm seeing so many people out there that I had in music a long, long time ago, like the Towies and Sydney and the O'Malley's and the Killos. And you guys all come on up here. Carly. All you guys have to come up here. Anyway, if I didn't mention your name, just come, because I can't see you all. Yep, come on up. You'll have to sing with us. Well, maybe you guys can come up and be all the way in the back. Yep. So many kids. <clears throat> Since the Lord God is the God of all of us, we're all family, and this is what that song is about, okay?
you. You guys can go back to your seats now. Wow, that was fun. Thanks, guys, for coming up. We have a gospel tune to sing as we prepare for the reading of the gospel. If you feel comfortable, I invite you to stand. Gospel according to Mark 9, 33 to 37. Then they came to Capernaum, and when he was in the house, he asked them, What were you arguing about on the way? But they were silent with one another, who was the greatest? He sat down, Whoever wants to be first must be last of all and servant of all. Then he took a little child and put it among them, and taking it in his arms, he said to them, Whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes not me, but the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Thank you, Jake. You may be seated. Grace and peace to all of you. Through our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Do not rely on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your paths. This verse became really, really meaningful to me, not because I studied it at seminary or dissected the Greek version of it, but rather... Uh, this, these verses became special to me because of an experience I had when I told some people to follow me because I know the way, and then I realized that I didn't. Whoops. It was many years ago, right after my senior year in high school, and I think I've told this story before, but uh, I had told the youth director at our church, let's go to the Boundary Waters for a week. I've been there many times. And the youth director said, well, I haven't been up there. I don't know. Should we get a guide? I said, well, your guide is right here. I've been here many years. I know exactly where to go. So a group of us went up, and uh, it was no problem finding the campground that I wanted with this big, huge boulder that uh, you could see from across the lake. It was open, and so we all grabbed it. Well, it was mid-afternoon, and I thought for sure we'd have time to take a little excursion around some lakes, portage over some land, and get in some other lakes. So there we went, and I said, follow me. As we were going along, I had a really hard time finding the first portage. I thought, where, where on earth is it? I remember being here, but it's not here. Finally found it after a long time, and then when we went on the other lake, it took forever to find that portage. I'd wish that they would just put a big red flag by that portage, that little opening where you can canoe in and pick up your canoes and walk across the land. But I couldn't find it, and we paddled around and around and around. Finally found it and went to the next lake. As we struggled to find the portage at every single lake, the sun was setting very, very fast, and it was getting darker and darker and darker. The mosquitoes started this size, went to this size, 
and became this size. The mosquitoes were all over the place. Did we bring bug spray? No, didn't think we needed any. Did I bring uh, a map? (laughs) No, because I knew the way. And I told them, just follow me. But I guess I didn't know the way. I got us so lost. The other students were getting a little afraid as they heard the timber wolves howling there at night, not knowing what island they were on. We wondered if we'd have to sleep under the canoes. Finally, at about 10 o'clock at night, we made it back to our campsite. I was so embarrassed. I was so humbled because of the thought that I really knew the way, but I didn't. I had them follow me, and I guess I didn't know really where I was. So that was really an adventure for me, uh, and I went home very humbled. But I learned two huge faith lessons from that. The first faith lesson is, there's a God, and I'm not him. And that's a lesson for all of us to learn, because we just love being in control. We just love directing, but there comes a time when we realize that, yes, we are lost, and we can't be in control, and our ego maybe drives us a little bit too much. God in his will... God in his divine providence is what truly guides us, right? What truly directs us. You can't be a child of God sitting behind your own steering wheel. To be a child of God means that we move over and let God, let Jesus be at the steering wheel. It means that daily we need to to check our egos and ask the questions, am I living for me or am I living for God who put me here on earth? Am I living, am I putting myself first, or am I putting others first and doing my best to serve other people? And I think it all starts with prayer. Every day, putting the focus on something other than our own need to be in control. We pray with thanksgiving. We pray with gratitude every day. And we pray that his will be done, not ours. And then we do this several times throughout the day. Lord, am I glorifying me or am I glorifying you? God, am I just wanting my will or am I wanting your will? Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Do not rely on your own understanding. Acknowledge him in all your ways and he will make straight your paths. The second faith lesson I learned was to keep a map close. Well, I kept this kind of close. Here's the map that I should have brought. Well, this isn't the exact lake or five that I was on, but they have lakes And they have uh, maps for lakes to show you where the portages are and all of that. That's what I learned that I needed to bring with me. But of course, as Christians, you know, this is our map. This is our guide, God's word. And we all, as God's people, also, together we guide one another. When we rely on God's word and when we love one another and gather in this place, we'll find our way through the troubles and trials of each day. So we keep God's word close. We continue to be connected to our church. My friends, this is my last Sunday with you, and I'm doing as good as I can not to let the tears flow, but it's been difficult. What a special service. Even though it's my last Sunday here, we will be connected in friendship and in faith in this coming future. It's been an incredible 13 years, just a wonderful ministry here, Uh, me to you and you to me. You, so many of you have opened up your hearts to me and shared your lives with me. And uh, I am honored that you have let me into your lives in that way. And uh, I have let myself into your lives too. And I thank you for the ministry and love that we've shared with each other. Trinity, like Melanie was saying, is on a journey of God's purpose in your lives. And God's purpose will be fulfilled And so am I. God's will will be fulfilled in my life. And I want to say to you, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't rely on your own understanding. Acknowledge him and he'll direct your paths. And I hear you saying that to me. I love you guys so very much. And I pray and hope that you will continue to be the body of Christ in this place. Thanks be to God. Amen.
The offering prayers are in, or the offering plates are in the narthex today on your way out. Thank you for all you give to Trinity. I pray the prayers of the day. Made children and heirs of God's promise, we pray for the church, the world, and all who are in need. Trinity, and we pray for the church around the world. Unite us in our love for you. Help us overcome our divisions that we are in court in your mercy. And God of creation, we pray for this hurting earth. Awaken us a new desire to care for this world and empower us to support agencies, organizations, and individuals in your mercy. Lord God of unity, we pray for the nations of the world embroiled in conflict. Inspire leaders to listen to each other and work towards peaceful solutions to all of our disagreements. Protect the vulnerable, especially children, who cannot safely, who, our community, our country. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, have comfort. We pray for all who live with mental or physical illness. Help them find appropriate care. Bring healing and wholeness when the path forward seems bleak. And lift up, Lord, with a a hand of healing, Harold Buck, Russ Bullion, Herb Dulesky, Jim P., Virginia Tho, Cheryl Herrick, Patty Brown Rood, Donna Jorgensen, Jana Wagner, Joey Sandvik. And Lord, we thank you for the blessings of celebrations in our lives. And we thank you, Lord, for the blessing to Dylan and Abby Minor and the birth of a daughter. Lord, in your mercy. Receive these prayers, O God, and those in our hearts known only to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, and broke it. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Again after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people, for the remembrance of me. And together we pray, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated. All are invited to come to the table for communion today. You guys can disinfect your hands. And uh, as you come up, we're going to have communion in a continuous fashion, meaning the servers will stand up here, and uh, you can receive your bread or gluten-free wafer if, if you prefer, and your wine or juice, and continue on your way. And so I'll serve the servers first.
hear the voice of love that's calling. There's a chair that waits for you. And a friend who understands everything you're going through. You keep standing at a distance In the shadow of your shame but There's a light of hope that's shining Won't you come and take your place So bring it all to the table It's nothing he ain't seen before For all your sin, all your sorrow and your sadness There's a Savior and he calls Bring it all to the table He can see the weight you carry In the fears that hold your heart But through the cross you've been forgiven You're accepted as you are So bring it all to the table There's nothing here For all your trials, all your worries, and your burdens, there's a Savior and He calls, bring it all to the table. Oh, bring it all. And you can. So come on in and take your place. There's no one who's turned away. All you sinners, all you saints, come right in and find your grace. So come on in and take your place. There's no one who's turned away. All you sinners, all you saints, come right in and find your grace. And bring it all. It's nothing he ain't seen before For all your sin, all your sorrow, and your sadness There's a Savior and he calls Bring it all to the table This is the body And this is the blood Broken and poured out For all of us And in this communion We share 
This is the body, and this is the blood. I will remember everything, Lord, that you've done for me. I won't take for granted the sacrifice that set me free. I hunger and thirst for your love. Come fill me today. This is the body. This is the blood. Broken and poured out for the body and this is the blood worship band. Did everyone get communion today? Okay, good. And, uh, oh, another uh, prayer request, uh, Pam Dolly, her mother Martha passed away yesterday, so we'll keep her in our prayers. Now may the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you all and keep you in his grace. Amen. Melanie, thank you guys for staying a little longer today in this warm, it's been a wonderful service. Um, Frank um, and Sarah, I just want you guys on deck. Mop, Evian wants to say a couple words. And Amber, were you going to be a part of this? If so, come on down. And um, just, yeah, just be on deck. And I might have noticed there's a lot of things happening in this service. Some things Pastor Paul had a hand in, but there was a lot of other people involved um, creating the service, so give your input and ideas. And first. 
Good morning. American poet Maya Angelou once said, I've learned that people will forget what I've said, and they will forget what I've passed 13 years as our pastor, my neighbor, my friend. Your unique God-given skills and gifts were heard and felt by the young and the old. Your compassionate attitude gave us encouragement and strength when spiritual struggles and fears overcame us. You gave us hope through Jesus' teachings that we could survive and address the next hour, the next day, the next week. Your gentle words of comfort healed many of us during our darkest and saddest times. Your delightful humor made you more approachable, not just to adults, but especially to our teens and younger children. You provided leadership, guidance, and a loving spirit that we will truly miss. Thank you for doing your job while you were with us. It's not an easy job trying to keep so many people happy. Ufta, you even tried to encourage Lutherans to clap and sing at the same time. <laughs> and you were constantly begging us to fill these empty pews in the front. I thank God every day for you coming to our community and our congregation, and for bringing your lovely family with you. We are all better off because of it. I agree with you, Pastor. God has great plans for Trinity, but he also has great plans for you. We hope you find success and contentment as you embrace and guide your congregations in Chatfield and Fountain. You will be remembered here in Hayfield because you made us feel. God bless you and your family. Um, hey, Pastor Paul, we were going to pa be passing a mic. Should we just use this? Pastor, um, yeah. Pastor, I mean, yeah. You get off that one. Pastor Paul, we need you to we need you to come up here, Pastor Paul, and make sure you speak into the mic. All right, Pastor Paul. I'll let Amber has got a gift for you on behalf of the Trinity Congregation. We present to you with this gift today. You can't quite tell what it is, but it's a special walking stick for Pastor goes on his travels and his journeys. He's got a walking stick that accompanies you. I don't know if you'll use this one because it's beautiful. Um, we do hope that you do find a spot for it in your new office, in your new church. And remember that your Trinity family is always with you. Thank you. <laughs> you definitely have to take it. And on this uh, leather piece, it says, as your journey continues, your Trinity family is by your side. Thank you very much. It's very special. And you get over here. I'm being really bossy. Some of you may not know why these certain people are coming up here. I'm Melanie Dobson. I'm president of the church council. And um, Sarah is vice president of insurance account, is secretary. So we are what's called the executive board. And the executive board um, meets once a month with Pastor Paul in addition to our council meetings. Um, and Frank is 
like the patriarch of our congregation, everybody loves Frank, and um, as well as Pastor Paul. He's been a special person in Pastor Paul's life. Um, go to your um, bulletins again, and we're going to do the litany of farewell and Godspeed, and wherever it's in bold, that's you. And let's start. And I guess, and you guys, okay, you have a mic, and so we're good, okay. Um, <clears throat> for 13, I have to have the one that has, that's color-coded. Okay, for 13 years, Pastor Paul has served as our pastor. He has offered his gifts and has worked diligently for the upbuilding of the church in this place. By the grace of God, he has served us well. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. We have contributed to Pastor Paul's ministry, supporting and encouraging him, responding to his skills as minister of the word and sacrament. By the grace of God, we have blessed Pastor Paul in his ministry among us. And I am grateful for your care and encouragement and for your partnership in the gospel. For everything there is a season, a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up what has been planted, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to let go. So, too, there is a time for coming together and a time, time for, for parting. parting. While we, we continue, continue as the Church of Jesus Christ, Christ in this place, and Pastor, Pastor Paul, Paul will go Lord to a new place, place of ministry. ministry. You, my siblings in Christ, will continue to share life and ministry in this community. So may God be with you. And also, and also with you. you. Okay, Pastor Paul, would you get in the middle here? Okay. So, friends, pa Frank and I are going to lay hands on Pastor Paul when we pray. Since you can't all come up and do that, if you feel comfortable, if you would like, you can raise your hands toward Pastor Paul as if laying hands on him. All right? So... Uh, That's a lot to, to expect of Lutherans, you know. I know. You've got to move just a smidge this way. And, Pat, and Frank, yeah. Okay. <sighs> Let us pray for Pastor Paul. Eternal God, we thank you for Pastor Paul and for our life together in this congregation and community. As he has been a blessing to us, so now send him forth to be a blessing to others through Jesus Christ our Lord. And now, Pastor Paul, may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace now and forever. Amen. Amen. All right, everyone, let's pray together for all our time of ministry together. We give thanks to you, O Lord. In the honor of parting, we test the comfort of your Holy Spirit, and in looking toward tomorrow, we trust that your hand will guide us to new strength, new hope, and new joy in the ministry of the gospel of Jesus Christ, in whose name we work and pray. Amen. And we're going to sing together, whoops. That's the benediction song. Yes, we're going to sing together the benediction. And don't forget, we'll be gathering outside after church. Thanks, you all. Thank you all for being here. Well, if you feel comfortable, let's stand and sing our sending song. This is our benediction to one another.
Go in peace and serve the Lord.